thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tama sa mga supporto sa akin yung mga halaman ko, sinela, san pa meron dito. Well, yes, I am back, you guys, and I know it's been a while since I created content here on YouTube, and you guys have messaged me a lot of times asking me kung kailan ako mag-vlog ulit, kailan ako gagawa ng content ulit, and Yeah, nandito ako ngayon. I'm doing content again. Hopefully, makumit ako. I'm sorry if I told you I'm gonna make more contents as a start ng year, but naging busy and things weren't really going well. I just felt not really motivated. But here I am now, feeling so motivated and inspired, despite ang mga nangyayari hindi kagandahan sa paligid natin with our political climate, with the pandemic we're facing right now. It's just so hard to really. Pick up yourself and try to make content, but um, na pa isip din ako na this is the only platform that is safest for us right now to talk about things, to uh, to communicate, to converse. Kasi sure, kailangan natin na social distancing. Ito yung pinaka mainam nagawen dahil nancam ka nando na ako. Di ko alam kung ganon kalayo to pag tinapanoon mo. But uh, right, uh, let's continue to talk. Let's continue to discuss. And kaya naman na isip ko etong daily vlogs ko when I ask you on my Instagram if you would want me to create daily vlogs. Most of you, if not all of you, well, merong three percent na nagsabi no. Eh wala ko pa rin tito panyo ako pero yeah, I'm still gonna do it anyways. So na isip ko ng gawin etong Ask Sky, which will be our daily vlogs. So ano bang Ask Sky? Well, here I'll try to answer in the best of my ability yung mga iba mga ipadadala niyo mga katanungan sa akin. Pero sure sa nai padala yung mga katanungan yung Feel nyo, alam ko na masigutin. Uh, huwag naman yung mga, mga mahirap like, hindi po ako doktor, hindi po ako, hindi ako ma maalam sa nucleolus, nuclear membrane, yung mga ganyan. Uh, sa iba po natin ito, well, let's talk about ano nangyayari sa paligid natin, sa mga buhay natin. Let's talk about anything and everything under the sky as long as I'll try to answer truthfully. I'll try to give you my insights and... If we're not able to answer these questions, hopefully mas napag-isip natin, mas napag-nilayan natin, mas ma, mas makakapag-isip tayo uh, sa mga bagay-bagay. Sana mas magkaroon tayo ng critical thinking. Ayun, mas mag-isip tayo dito. So simulan natin. Here's the first question na napili ko when I ask you guys on my Instagram kung ano ang gusto niyo ang sagutin kung tano. And the first one is, how do you stay mentally healthy during the quarantine? To answer the question, it's just so hard to be always positive. It's just so hard to keep yourself mentally stable and mentally healthy. Kasi talagang magulo yung nagyayare. Kasi mapapaisip tayo ko kung magiging mabuti ba yung bukas, kung dadami ba yung cases bukas. So yung ginagalawan natin is talagang nagkukos sa ating lahat, sa akin, sa yo ng uh, pagkabagabag, ng pamumoblema, ng pag-iisip. So, I think it's completely normal for most of us, if not all of us, to feel anxious, to feel scared sa nangyayari sa lipuna natin, sa nangyayari sa pandemic. So, we feel our, our security, our safety, uh, we feel threatened for these things. So, una siguro, we have to acknowledge that it's completely normal na makaramdam tayo ng takot. Even ako, uh, until today, for the past three or four months na naka-lockdown tayo or commu uh, enhanced community quarantine and now general community quarantine, it's still hard kasi nakakatakot yung kalaban natin, hindi natin nakikita. Nakakatakot kasi um, it spreads easily. Hindi natin alam kung kailan matatapos. Dagdag pa dyan, syempre, nakaka mas nakaka-stress, mas nakaka- Bagabag, bakit patuloy na tumataas ang uh, mga cases? Uh, saan ba tayo nagkukulang? Saan nagkukulang ang mga official natin para matugunan ang uh, problema ito, ang safety ng mga health workers, ang safety natin? And that adds up dun sa mismong uh, iniisip natin sa pandemic. But you recognize that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel uh, to feel uneasy. Kasi it is our natural reaction to what's happening in our society now. And for me, how do I keep myself mentally healthy? I just try to talk to people as much as I can. I just, I just try to communicate. I just try to converse. I ask how my friends are, and in turn, we have meaningful communication. We have, we establish or re-establish meaningful 
um, connections once again. Ito yung mga kailangan natin. Kailangan na, alam natin, kailangan natin ng tao. Kailangan natin ng uh, care. Kailangan natin ng pagmamahal. Kailangan natin ng uh, presensya ng ibang tao. For us to feel more secured na hindi tayo nag-iisa sa pinagdadaanan natin. And... We are not. We are not alone in this struggle, in this in this challenge. When you know you're not alone, you'll have more strength to carry on. But remember, it's okay not to be okay. You don't have to force yourself to be okay when you're not okay. Well, other things that I do to try to cope up with the stress, with anxiety is I eat. <laughs> I don't know if that helps you, but um, for me, that's how I cope up sometimes. I just eat. Well, there's no one-size-fits-all solution sa pinagdadaanan natin uh, to cope up with uh, mental anxiety, with um, with mental health issues, especially during uh, the situation. Merong mas vulnerable, uh, yung mga merong existing um, mental health conditions na syempre nandiyan din uh, mara mararanasan na ibang stress ng ating mga healthcare workers, ng ating mga frontliners, kasi iba yung um, iba yung threat to their uh, health security pa, syempre, but they have to continue on to to do their job in helping other people in the midst of, a, of the pandemic. Um, but for me, how do I cope up myself? Well, una nung sinabi ko, I really try to connect with people, uh, to actually reconnect more to people. May yung mga hindi ko uh, madalas na nakakausap uh, before, uh, meron pa akong nakausap after a year or two and this really helps kasi uh, nalalaman ko na uh, hindi ako mag-isa sa pinagdadaanan ko nalalaman ko na they're also experiencing what I'm experiencing and acknowledging etong mga nararamdaman ko me being able to articulate and communicate um, my problems, my anxieties what I think of really helps for me to know where to start, kung paano ko mapupunan yung um, mga pangangailangan na to, kung saan ako nahihirapan. Tapos, um, talking to people, uh, knowing that they also listen to me, I listen to them, it just sort of lifts the burden. Uh, mas napagagaan yung pinagdadaanan. Kasi alam ko, di ako mag-isa. Um, but there are really days that I really shut off, na nakakulong lang ako. Even I don't wanna go to social media. Uh, I don't wanna do anything, I'm just inside. Mahirap, mahirap, but sometimes I just really feel like I wanna shut off. And then after that, hopefully pagkagising ko, pag nakatulog ako, or kung di ako makatulog, um, hopefully after noon, mapaisip ako na uh, naka-recharge ako, na makakabalik ako sa mga gawain ko, sa mga kaibigan ko. Mahirap, pero I just really hope that after a couple of hours, after sleeping, after having that enough time to recharge, I ma, I ma recharge talaga ako, and I may continue to hope that things will get better. But this doesn't necessarily work with everyone. Um, iba iba tayo ng coping mechanism, uh, iba iba tayo ng personality. But I think the best solution if talagang hindi na natin ma manage magisa. There are hotlines that we could call. It's okay to to seek for medical help, for professional help. And daming mga organizations and associations that could really help you. And then the Philippine Mental Health Association, um, Philippine Psychiatric Association, National uh, Center for Mental Health, and a lot more of uh, independent organizations that are willing to help, listen, uh, and for you to cope up sa nangyayaring pandemic. Once you're able to connect with these professionals, Hopefully, little by little, you'll be able to cope up. You'll be able to um, hope again that things will get better. Unti unti in your own time, in your own pacing. I just hope that you get better. I, I just hope that you find the drive to continue on the day and to feel back at your feet again. And that's what we want every day in a na maranasan natin. And I just hope we'll be able to move forward to this situation. Together, we will be able to to get better. So hopefully, nakatulong itong uh, uh, pagsagot ko sa ASKAI na to. Hopefully, I was able to spark something in you 
to keep going, to continue on. Because I myself, I needed also that boost from someone. I, I needed that boost from my family, from my friends. And I'm, I'm giving it to you. You can do it. I know you'll be able to to get through whatever you're you're experiencing right now. Yeah, maraming salamat sa pakikinig sa ating uh, first Ask Guy uh, bukas. So this is gonna be a daily vlog. Bukas, I'm gonna answer another question. So uh, stay tuned uh, sa susunod nating um, Ask Guy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this if you really liked it. Um, but yeah, let's continue on uh, talking. Let's continue to talk about anything and everything under the sky. Once again, I'm Sky Keyzone. I'll see you next time.